Deli, whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, it doesn't matter what you drive. Today, we are in Franklinsville, I guess, where are we at? Cool Springs. Cool Springs, Tennessee, and uh, we are at an exotic car dealership of sorts because this is where all the stars in Tennessee live. They live around here, so even the used car lots are primos. So uh, let's look because I see one of our dream trucks right behind us, and let's see what they have here. It's pricey. <laughs> All right, Kelly, this is a dream vehicle for you, correct? Oh, yeah. The TRX. This is a 2022 Ford, $99,000. That is right. Uh, these things are bring, they are bringing like outrageous money. It looks like it's got about 9,000 miles on it. As you can see, it is the 6.2 liter supercharged engine. And this thing looks great. Great color on this thing. Um, this is up your, color wise, this is up your alley, right? This is actually like my dream color. Yes, because you <laughs> love this kind of nightish armor. Like it's a black, but it's kind of a gray. Yeah, a dark, dark gray. But this thing is incredible. But what else we got here? We got a Z71 2021. And uh, this is a trail boss. Once again, Kelly's in heaven right here because she loves the trail boss. Now the tires on this always look so tiny to me. Now if it was black, It'd be my two dream vehicles. No, see, I like, we are polar opposites yes. of colors because I like the white vehicle, kind of that Stormtrooper look. But $52,000 for this with 13,000 uh, miles on it. And uh, it looks pretty clean. Now, these tires on this thing, they always look so tiny to me. They put 33s on them. And then, you know, it's it's an off-road tire. And it trips me out because you see the uh, 35s over here on the uh, TRX. They fit. Look at that, they fit. But then you see the tiny uh, tiny Goodyears on the Z71. But right next to it, this is like, I told you, this is the land of exotics, man. They have this place, wait till you see what else they have. But 2018 Raptor, Ford Raptor. This, I love the front end. When they switched to this newer front end like this, I love this. Of course, it's got that big F-O-R-D grill in it. So you know it's a Raptor and it's got the three lights and all that. But 25,000 miles for 70k that's right if you want a raptor and uh you want to look badass 70k man but look at this lineup right there and uh well and we have a sequoia i want to see what else they have because i i think they got a couple kelly rumor has it they might have a couple of broncos maybe so um maybe a let's go see what else they got all right now we got an h1 sydney sydney likes big weird powerful looking vehicles which is strange because you love the uh mercedes right you like the G-Wagons and all that. But what do you think about... You've never seen an H1 in person. This thing is ridiculous. What do you think about this? I think it's cool. Yeah? I looked, at the, I looked at the inside, and I didn't know what it looked like on the inside. It's so... Like, yeah, well, look how far the front and seats are away from each other. It's because the, the engine and transmission are all through there. But pretty cool color. 79,000 miles for $79,000. Um, for a 1996. Yeah, clearly it's been refinished. Um... It all looks pretty good shape. You can see, it looks like it, I don't know if it was a green at one time or what, but uh, there's a couple things that uh, could be better about it, but look at that. Pretty freaking nice on the inside, and uh, for $79,000, it better be. These places here, like I said, this is where all the stars buy cars and stuff, and believe it or not, they will buy used, uh, but here at Global Motorsports. Um, but you've got your classics, your GLs, uh, your Nissans and Nissan and Infinities because they're here. You've got a little bit of everything, but, we got this is also you're gonna have some um some uh, jeeps here looks like we got ourselves a gladiator and this is a color that i actually would have bought the gladiator in and i think kelly kicks my every once in a while for not buying this but this is a yep. diesel this is the overland and they've they've beefed up the tires a little bit but a great color kelly would you like that color better than uh the one we have some days yes some days yes but i, I like the flat i like the flat look of that looks really cool uh moab this is a Moab edition. Um, pretty cool. You get a little bit of upgrades to this, but it's no Rubicon by any means. And they got a couple Rubicons here. And the prices on these, 57,000 with 16,000 miles. You could buy them new for about 55, depending on how, how they're specced out. But here's an 18 for $53,000, man. It's ridiculous. But... um still you know they're they're a nice vehicle leather uh they're gonna these are gonna be flushed out here look at the tiny screen though i don't know if you can see that or not that's the size we have in our uh, our gladiator but still really really cool all right porsche panamera 
these things are pretty wicked. 17,000 miles. This is a 2016. It's still going to cost you $59,000. We've got some, uh, what is this one? This is a 718 Boxster. I love these little things. Definitely, definitely on my bucket list one these days to own a Porsche. What do we got over here? We got a Panamera 2018 for almost a hundred thousand dollars on these things. These are wicked little cars, though. They, uh, you know, when Porsche, it was a big thing when Porsche decided to do a four door, uh, they did it right. It still looks like a Porsche, it doesn't, it's not too nuts. But Kelly, uh, you pointed out something funny. This is we're recording this on a Sunday, yes. The dealership is closed, so. and what is going on here? So we're not going to put our hands in there because I'm not taking any chances, but the window's down and then the key's in the ignition. Yep, there's the key if you would, uh, you could start it and, and uh, test drive this car if you wanted. <laughs> now, you know, by the time we post this, hopefully somebody has corrected this situation, but you would think at a nice exotic car uh, dealership, you wouldn't leave the keys Especially in it. Especially for a $60,000 vehicle. Right? Well, if you can't tell, Bronco may be popular around here because how many we got? Six. Six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. But it looks like they got something for everybody. A little bit of all the colors. Uh, black seems to be prominent. But uh, uh, let's see. What models do we have here? Are these wild tracks. Okay. There's a wild track. Wild track. Wild track. Badlands. Uh, wild track. What else we got? Uh, Outer Banks. And then we have a, uh, a Sasquatch. Just the base Sasquatch package. Now. Base Sasquatch package, it's got the modular bumper on it, it's got the Ford Performance lights on it, and it's got a big price tag. $69,000, it's a 2.7 liter uh, V6, twin turbo V6 in this thing, but it is a base, so you know there's not much in there. Now we got the Outer Banks for 81,000. This one has 141 miles, so this was definitely sold at auction. A dealer sold at auction, made a little bit of scratch and uh, moved on. Now this one here, which one was this one again? This was the Wild Track. 27 miles for $87,000. We've got a 2022 with uh, 74K miles on this. This has to be some kind of demo. But uh, $85,000 for this Badlands. Uh, they all seem to be Sasquatch package as well. Here we have a Wild Track with 16 miles for uh, $87,000. $86,000 if you're a little cheaper. 86,000 will get you 606 uh, miles on that or 661 miles on that but that is ridiculous and that's a hell of a row man and while at first I would have been a little pissed off seeing all these at uh, dealerships like this now I'm not because these things have been out for a while and dealers are choosing to they'd rather sell them out from customers and sell them to auction houses where these things are going and well it is what it is man now They've got a lot of them here. Are they selling a lot of them? Maybe, I don't know. I don't I don't browse the inventory here that often. So uh, still, it's very cool to see so many Broncos in line like this. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Now we got a 2023 Defender. I didn't know the 23s were out just yet, but it's got a thousand miles on it. And uh, $93,000. I love the two doors. The two doors look great on these things. And here's a four door version with a thousand miles on it and $115,000 on this thing. Um, I know you, when we saw these at Chicago Auto Show, when they were debuting these things, yes. these were pretty nice. Now you can get a four cylinder in these and I believe a six cylinder in these things. This is the 110. I like the graphics that they've done with the 110. Um, really nice in these things, but I just don't know. They're pretty common and I just don't know. I hate to say they're pretty common, but they are, uh, they're out there and you can find a lot of them. So um, I'd almost rather go with uh, something like this, like the Sport. I think it looks a lot better uh, as a just a family cruiser. You guys, let me know what you think. Are, are you into the uh, the new Defenders? Or are you uh, you're uh, kind of like the uh, the more uh, soccer mom approach? All right, nothing says exotics like a row of Porsches and Porsche. I, I never know how you say it, but look at this lineup, man. We've got a uh, 03 with a hundred thousand miles, a six-speed little boxer. Uh, 16,000, that's actually not bad considering if the maintenance has been, you know, if you have records on this thing, I would trust these, but oh, it looks like leather in this thing, uh, manual transmission, which you gotta have almost in a little Porsche like this. Uh, what else we got down this row of uh, exotic fun? We've got a uh, 13 for 91,000. This is a 911 Carrera. What else we got here? There's another Panamera for uh, 84. Uh, looks like they've actually locked this one up. We've got the fives for 88, 
these cars are, are going up in value. Believe it or not, these things are going nuts. Uh, 14 for $87,000, and that is a Carrera S. Uh, 911 Turbo, $85,000. And this color, look at this Boxster 718. 2018, 8,000 miles for $71,000. And that is freaking, I love this color. I, if I'm gonna have something fun like this, I know probably the conventional thought is, hey, let's get just a normal color, but I like this a lot. Look at that, man. That color is so great. Well, there you have it. We are in Brentwood, Tennessee, where all the stars shop. So uh, believe it or not, like I said earlier, they will buy a used vehicle, trust me, here in Nashville. So um, in the comments below, do you guys want to see more of this kind of content? Let me know. I, uh, I personally, I like coming to these things just to look around and dream. Uh, hopefully you can dream through these videos. So whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, all these Broncos, Porsche, whatever you want to drive, they've got it here. And this has been your All-Terrain Nation, and we are out. Boosts, everybody. Love y'all.